Make sure everybody D up. Wait, where you going? Stay back. Stay back. I got this. Marion, don't do it. Oh, cookies, we out. Get your motherfucking ball security up. Uh-oh. Pulling out a John Legend. Get lifted. Man, I'm telling you, boy. The Mavs ain't got nothing this season. I'm doing it up. After putting the business on the Mavericks, you can see our stats right here. We just did it crazy. Usually in the third quarter, teams, you know, they, they fight back. But the Mavs just ain't give us nothing, man. Aldridge didn't even have a great game. That's how crazy it was. The bench came in. We worked as a unit. You seen the bench point, 62 points. That's how easy it was for us to win against the Mavs. I don't know, man. I guess Dirk can't do it by itself, right? We'll see. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ace the OV. I used to move by the OZ. I guess even back then you could call me CEO of the ROC. Watch out the frying pan in the fire. I'll be the music biz number one supplier. Not TOC, but similar. So that's what I'ma do. Take you back to the tomb with the Lexi. Fast forward the jewels in the necklace. Let me tell you dudes what I do to protect this. Shoot at you at the like movie collection. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's High Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. This right here is game five of my career mode. Now, in this dunk right here, check out Blake Griffin putting his balls all over the place. Luckily, nobody was down there to catch that, but check out the 26.5 vertical that that man has. But what I want to do is, before we get into the meat of this video, I want to give you guys two quick tips. Now, the first tip, pick and roll overlays. You definitely want to have your pick and roll overlays um, set up so that you'll be able to know when a person slips, fades, or rolls. And another tip is coming down and shooting jump shots. One thing that I do want to tell you guys is you definitely want to have your shot time and feedback turned on. I know a lot of people are thinking shot time and feedback, what is that? Well, here it is right here. It's a nice little menu that pops up to tell you if your shot is good, if the range is good, if a person is in your face, and if you took a great quality shot. Now, the way that you could turn these on, you definitely want to go into presentation. You want to turn on pick and roll overlays and jump shot time and feedback. You can find that in the menu as you're playing, or you can find it in settings in my career mode. And even in the home menus, you'll be able to turn it on. So when you're playing regular games against friends or something like that, and you don't know all five or all 15 of your teammates' uh, shots, you can definitely figure those out with the quickness. Now, me, myself, I love doing them, and that's, that's just my thing. But check this out. Come to where the action is. See your trailblazers up close and personal. Always great to see the captain doing what he does best. Make sure to be there. So come out and welcome our sensational new rookie. Yeah, um, what had happened was when I went to go shoot that promo, uh, they kind of called me on a moment's notice. And I was kind of, you know I'm saying, blazed. I, you know, it's like, nah, well, basically, guys, if you guys would run that back and look in my eyes, they look bloodshot red. A lot of people saying that, oh, my goodness, do we smoke weed? I just would think of it as us being so busy as NBA players going to different events and playing games and going to practice that a person really gets tired after a while. So I know I know it may be a, a glitch or something in the game, but, hey, it is what it is. But let's get into halftime, y'all. Now, presented by Sprint. Thursday is always a great night for basketball on 2K Sports. So let's look back at first half action. Portland with the lead against the Clippers. This is a tough matchup for them on paper, but they've been up to the challenge. Damian Lillard has been going at it effortlessly against the defense of the Clippers. He's got 13 points and also has contributed with his passing, making some assists. And from the Clippers' angle, they've been grinding away. They've been very focused on the defensive end, generating steals, showing a high-level activity and aggression defensively. Karan Butler playing great through two quarters. He's got a dozen points, and he's also made plays for others, showing his court vision definitively in this one. And that's it for us here in the studio. 
time to send it on back out. To- All right, finally, the coaches let me back in the game. We're up one point. It's almost five minutes left in the game. Now, check out the way my defender is sagging off me. He knows that Mr. 2K can't shoot any three, so guess what I do? I take the pick. Notice somebody sliding over. I pass it over to a shooter. That's what you got to do in this game. If you can't shoot, somebody on your team can. That's all I'm saying. Now, what I do want to stress to you guys is when it comes to getting assists, I made the video, uh, dropped it, uh, I guess, a few days ago or whatever. But let me give you guys a little bit more about getting assists. You have to realize what happens in NBA 2K13. Notice how Blake Griffin slid over to help on that backdoor cut. The person that he was defending was wide open. Sometimes you got to make the right decision. If you try to pass it to Aldridge in a, in a situation like that, Blake Griffin might have, you know, stole it out of midair, uh, tipped the pass, tipped the bounce pass, whatever type of pass I would have tried to make. Somehow, some way, Blake would have probably recovered, got the steal, and then I would it would have been a turnover on me. But moving on, check out this play right here, man. I haven't done that in a long time. It felt really good. And check this out. You know I had to throw the oop. I'm bringing Dime City to Portland. Yes, I said it. I'm bringing Dime City to Portland. It's definitely official. I'm loving this team right now. Now, I got six points and nine assists. I'm fighting for a double-double in this game. I didn't want to go off in my last game like I did against the Mavericks. I decided I want to keep things slow, straight to the point, and try to get my double-double. Now, right there, Aldridge went in. He got beastly, took the contact, and got me my 10th assist. Now, on this play... This is what I love about this game. I just ripped CP3. I'm out on a break, and I rolls on that fool. Not D rolls, but I rolls on that fool. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you feel me? I'm loving the off two dunk package. If you jump off two feet, man, it's so much that can happen. You can hang on the rim. You can put your balls in people's face. But I'm going to the line for one. You already know what it is, man. I got that Kevin Durant free throw. It's swag to the end. And... It's off. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. Um, I'm guessing I got to get my free throw up. Don't worry about me. I, it was it was a glitch. I'm going to blame it on the glitch. But, nah. Um, time is winding down. I decided, you know what? I got nine points. Why not go in? Cheese for my double-double. Yes, I had to do it. I had to go with the up and under. If I wouldn't have got my double-double, I would have been pissed. So, I got my milestone. Everything right now in this game didn't matter to me. We're up four. It's about five minutes left. And you know what they're going to do to me, right? It, it happens to me every single time. Since I'm not a starter, they always pull this crazy move out on me. Now, watch this. After that miss, it goes out of bounds, right? Now, now watch what happens. No, we're not, we not going to talk about it. Just watch what happens. Look at what Coach is doing. He's saying, hey, Carter, get your ass over here. Get your ass on that bench. But... Time is over. We actually came out with the win, guys. And so it's Portland winning this one. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was. And I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Norris, and the rest of the crew, Kevin Harlan saying, see you next time. Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted iPod. David caught a perfect picture like a tripod. A point guard that delivers like Papa John's. Me drafted is the front page topic. I'm Philly Pride, Team Villanova. Finesse game, but the heart of a soldier. When I go to the rack, there's no stopping me. Better bring a double team, better stand properly. <laughs> On defense, move your feet. Taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat. I was raised like a crip, cause I ruled the street. Not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat. Pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson. I got drafted 11, that was nonsense. Name a player that penetrates better. Number 15 on the Polo Sports sweater. Chris Paul better pass the torch fast. I'm the weatherman on the court, the forecast. Said it's gonna rain, I'ma bring pain. Double team Dave Carter, bet I go lame. 
I'm the king, LeBron better step off He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off No rookie in this league can get with me Most points, most assists, better make history History, history That was definitely a great game. I came out with 11 and 10. Look at everybody else's stats though. You guys think Hall of Fame is really easy? Man, <laughs> all I can say is people was pulling out numbers this game. It was a tight game. I love having games like this. Luckily, we didn't lose. <laughs> Tonight, for the first time, you cracked double digits and assists. Did you see this coming before the game, or did it end up being a bit of a surprise? Surprise? <laughs> you can't be serious with that question. I saw it coming in a mile away. It was only right that I got my first double-double in my fifth game. Why would not? It, it shouldn't be a question. <laughs> Come on, lady. I wouldn't say I expected it. I mean, I felt pretty good going in, and then as the game got going, things just kept clicking. I was finding my teammates at the right times, and they were knocking down their shots. Really, my part was the easy part. I just passed the ball where it made sense, and the rest worked itself out. <laughs> Spoken like a true champ. Mama always told me this time would come. I thought I would never join a gang. I thought I was always that guy that stayed away from the conflict, but it looks like I can only choose one place. Either I can go with Team Nike or I can go with Team Jordan. I wonder what path I would take. What's your thoughts? Leave them in the comment section, y'all. Peace.